Hey agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. So today we got the daily target of loot allocation for May 13th, 2020. I'm going to get this thing started off with a, a few things actually. So number one, I do have a Cassie Mendoza vendor reset video out right now. I'm uploading both of these at the same time. So whichever one gets uploaded first, definitely go check it out. There's some good stuff at the Cassie Mendoza vendor reset. So definitely check that out. And all I did was go to the 1040 safe house and then go up the street till they get to the snitch. I had to kill a few NPCs around the area, but he was there. And then Cassie Mendoza is right here. So definitely go check that out. It's got, a, she's got a few good things that are worth it. The second thing I did want to mention is for the manhunts. It's time to just start doing these. I always didn't do them, but Jupiter is technically a cleaner boss. So if you want to get a chance of getting the Imperial Dynasty to drop, then you definitely want to go check out the Jupiter Manhunt missions. And you don't have to redo the other three. So go check that out if you want to, you know, a high chance to get the, the Imperial Dynasty to drop. And also, you always get the Coyote Mask to drop as well. So if you want the Coyote Mask or the Imperial Dynasty, go check that out, as well as you know, it's just kind of fun because the Jupiter mission's the final target, so it's kind of more fun to do as far as I know because there's actually some, it, it makes a, um, one of the missions that you do seem a lot more fun and new and fresh. So I really want to get to that. So as soon as I'm done uploading the Casting Mendoza vendor reset and this target loot vendor, or sorry, target loot, I'm just going to get started on it probably solo and have a good time just doing it by myself. If some friends, you know, want to play, sounds good to me. All right, so starting off with the daily target of loot allocation, we got Providence Defense at DCD headquarters and holsters at the White House. If you're looking for claws out, which is not a DZ exclusive, it's just DZ and LZ. It's at the White House area at these two control points right here. And I highly recommend farming Providence Defense at DCD headquarters and it's invaded. It's also available over here at New York. So if you do want to go check it out, you got Providence Defense at Battery Park. So definitely check that out. And we got gloves at Jefferson Trade Center. So if you're looking for those BTSU gloves, then here it is. It's invaded. It's short because it's Jefferson Trade Center. And you also get a chance at the Coyote mass dropping from Coyote, the boss at the end. So definitely go check that out as well. We got rifles in downtown East. I would check that out as well. For the Merciless, you have four control points here. Sokolo Concern and Gila Guard at District Union Arena. That's amazing for shield builds. And I would check that out as well. I've been doing legendaries at District Union Arena and Roosevelt. It's been really fun. All right, we got Douglas and Harding at East Mall. And we got Douglas and Harding over here at West Potomac Park. So if you're looking for the Punch Drunk Mask, Now's the day to definitely check that out. You got the four control points to farm here, which everyone knows I love to farm right here in East Mall. And then you also got one, two, three, four control points here, or three control points, and then a main mission. And this is all Jupiter stuff that you want to finish anyway. Definitely go check that out. You also got knee pads at Roosevelt Island if you're still looking for those Fox Prayer knee pads. And China Light. Let's see, I'll just do the DZ real quick. You have Petrov Defense Group at DZ West if you're looking for contractor's gloves. 511 Tactical if you need something for your shield build. And China Light for the Strategic Alignment Backpack if you're looking for that backpack. It's a good backpack. It doesn't have perfect spark on it anymore. It has something else. And I'll probably head to the White House to show you guys at the end of the video. But you can farm for it at Federal Emergency Bunker or you can farm for it at DZ South. Either way, it'll drop at some point. It's not a DZ exclusive, so you can get the strategic alignment backpack from DZ South or a Federal Emergency Bunker. We also got assault rifles at Camp White Oak, Overlord ornaments at Coney Island Amusement Park, Richter and Kaiser at Coney Island Ballpark, and Aralda Holdings at Manning National Zoo. If you're looking for the pristine example, I would highly recommend just farming these two spots. You got the Potomac Event Center, and you got Air and Space Museum. These are two chess piece places that I would highly recommend farming for. If you're looking for the Pestilence or a good LMG, Jefferson Plaza is available for light machine guns. And remember guys that the Warlords of New York Exotics, they are not part of the targeted loot 
pool. So if, if you're looking for a Warlords of New York exotic, you have to get them from, you know, where it drops. Like the Imperial Dynasty drops from a cleaner boss. So like Jupiter or, you know, Vivian, Vivian Connolly or whatever, um, or Kajiga. Bullet King drops from Rikers. So just remember that. I've had a few people ask me that and I just want to make it clear. You also can farm for gear sets in Southwest and in Downtown West. So there's multiple control points in both of these areas if you're looking for negotiators, chest, or backpack. And there is none that I know of that are in any of the vendors this week, even the Cassie Mendoza one. And definitely go check out that video because there's, there's a really good piece that she has right now. And we got Fender's group at American History Museum. Shotguns at Tidal Basin Stronghold if you're looking for Sweet Dreams, this is a good place for it to drop. And we got Wyvernware at Lincoln Memorial, Murakami Industries at DARPA Research Labs, and Backpacks at the Pentagon. It's also another Manhunt mission, so I would check that out. Alp Summit at Foggy Bottom, Pistols at Constitutional Hall, and Gear System Mods at Bank Headquarters. China Light, of course, at Federal Emergency, Murakami Industries at West End, and Petrov at DZ West. All right, guys, let's head over to New York City to finish this up before I get wrapped up with my thoughts. We got holsters at the Financial District, Golan Gear at Wall Street, Seska SRO at Liberty Island, Providence Defense at Battery Park, Salt Rifles at Pathway Park, and we got shotguns at Two Bridges, Hana Yu at Stranded Tanger, Overlord at Civic Center, and Grupo Sombro at the Tombs. Really all I farm for in New York City is the Imperial Dynasty and Bullet King and I don't even farm for the Bullet King anymore. But if I was farming for the Lady Death, I would check out this area just to knock out two birds with one stone, Providence Defense and the Lady Death. If you're looking for the Chameleon, I would check out Pathway Park. And if you're looking for Bullet King, today would be a much better day than yesterday to farm for it even though it's cool on gear. And if you're looking for Imperial Dynasty, I would check out Stranded Tanker for sure as always, but you're also gonna be able to get Hana Yu stuff, which you can use with a build with the Imperial Dynasty. You know, put on some skill haste or skill damage on the gloves or whatever you get to drop. I use Hana Yu with uh, my hardwired build. It's good. And then of course you have shotguns at two bridges. So if you wanna look for the Sweet Dreams here instead, although I wouldn't recommend it. All right, let's head back to Washington DC. Oh yeah, and we got skill attachments in Judiciary Square. You know, you guys can see the map. I'm not going to go through it all right now. But anyway, my thoughts really on all of this stuff is the Jupiter Manhunt seems to be something that I'm going to get started right now. It seems really fun and I suggest you guys do it as well, if you're, especially if you're bored. If you're looking for the Imperial Dynasty, I mean you could do all the Jupiter stuff, but you know, you could just, you know, go to Stranded Tanker and keep farming it out. But I would recommend doing Jupiter. I'm going to do it right now. And if you're far behind like I am, just remember you can join with friends that are further ahead than you. You can even join with a friend that's doing the end of the mission. So say the person has finished all this stuff, then you can go ahead and get the EMP sticky bomb if you just join their mission while they are, you know, while they're at that mission beating Jupiter. So definitely check that out as well. And definitely check out the Cassie Mendoza vendor reset video. It's worth a watch. So check that out as well. It's a short like four minute video, maybe five minute video, just showing what she has. And otherwise, that's most of my thoughts on Division 2 this week. I mean, mostly it's just like, I'm having a lot of fun doing legendaries and trying to get the big horn. And I'm having fun, you know, I'm going to be having fun starting Jupiter, I'm sure. I can let you guys know tomorrow if it's not really that much fun. But yeah, for right now, I'm, I'm still having fun with the game. When I made that, you know, Division 2 is getting boring, it's because it is getting boring. But, you know, we love this game. So eventually, most people still stick with it and play it. They just play it less. And that's what I've been doing, except for now, I'm starting to play more and more and more. Which is good, but I always see these glaringly bad problems that are going on with the game. And it sucks, but hey, I'm honestly pretty sure it's just all going to be fixed and dealt with. I have a good outlook on it, but that's just me. 
Anyway, I'll let you guys go. This is the daily target loot allocation for May 13th, 2020. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Most of my viewers do not, you know, aren't subscribed that watch this stuff. So it'd be awesome if you guys subscribed, hit that like button if you enjoy the content. This is Shadow Gaming signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, agents.